<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is an emergency broadcast. Okay. <laughs> a new way to start what, the show. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Good evening uh, and welcome to New Music Mondays on a crazy Monday, as okay. always. I mean, given what everything else has been going on in the world over the last week. <laughs> That's why so, I thought I'd start that, with that. This is an emergency say. broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> the UK is in collapse. South Africa is following soon shortly. <laughs> <laughs> the whole world is gone. Tits up. Please stay indoors. Stay <laughs> indoors. In the words of Frankie goes to Hollywood. Good evening, Martin. Oh, dear. I've got Hello. I've got the show for a bit of fun. Yeah, and why not? Yeah. We're from the Kurdish South Africa. Oh, okay. Why not? Congratulations. Okay. This is amazing. Oh, dear. Hello, London. Hello. How's it going there? It's, it's kind of cold. Oh. It's kind of hot there where you are. It's very, very warm today. It has been warm over the weekend. It's going to get hotter and hotter until we burn up and explode, I think. That's the uh, prediction. Well, I think the UK is burning up and exploding anyway, thanks to your dear friend. Oh, flush, <laughs> flush, 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 to, he's decided to leave, but not. Oh, yeah. No, I'll just carry on. Oh, and not, not only that. What he's, he's decided to leave, carry on, and not do anything for three months. Isn't that normal? <laughs> it's probably safer. If you actually would do nothing, we'd probably be better off, I think. Yeah, it's probably the safest thing you could have. Leave him, in, leave him there. <laughs> Get everybody else to do the work. I just, well, have you seen the, the, the line-up of rep- reprobates and clowns that's lining up to take over is not very inspiring. Uh, no, anyway, there you go. No. That's, that's not yeah. too... That's not Good evening, too, Martin. Too How are political. you? Look at that. Look what I found. What's that? Look at that. OMD. Oh, wow. Where'd you get that? I, I, I bought that. <laughs> I found that the other day. I thought, oh, God, nice. how, long have, how long have I had that? Oh, my God. Did you so find that, it mes- in your cupboard? Mes- messages. It's in my record collection. Oh, wow. That's there a classic. You, you know that. 1980. An classic. 1980, Jules. I know. I 1980. Know. Well, the, co- the, the B-side is uh, a cover of Waiting for the Man. Very nice. Amazing. Very nice. Ah, that. well. that oh, that's a classic. No, that's I an thought, absolute classic. I love that. As, as that. they've been playing live this weekend at uh, British. Now, you guys have had a hell of a weekend in the UK with live music. Tell us a little oh, bit yeah. about what happened because it was it was insane. Pearl Jam, Rolling Stones, yeah. um, Duran Duran, you name yeah. it. I know. Amazing. Uh, wow. Adele's been playing recently as well. They're all, all over the place. But do you know what? That, I, I found that because I thought, well, Duran Duran have been playing recently, of course. And do you know what? Our, our old friend Roxanne de Bastian. Her, what uh, she done now? She her, opening for Duran Duran now? No, no. Her, uh, her, what should we say? Her paramour, her partner, uh, is a music journalist, uh, Sean. He's uh, recently, he interviewed John Lydon prior to the pistol thing coming out. He okay. interviewed all of Duran Duran. Jealous. All of them. Jealous. Yo, you're quite a fanboy there. Look at that. That's nice. Look at that. Seven in the Ragged Tiger tour program. Wow. <laughs> That's a classic. That's an From, absolutely uh, classic. What, 19? Look at that. Yep. One of my favorite <laughs> albums of all time, that, actually. <laughs> Easily one of my favorite albums of all time, that. 1983, no would that be? Must have been 1983, was it? Yeah. Wow, well, Classic. The original tour program. There you go. The British tour, December the sixth to the twentieth, nineteen eighty-three. Wow, I was yeah. fifteen or something. Yeah, well, I must have been as well. Somewhere around I think there. That was one of the first. Well, we had I we had to. a show this weekend. Um, so, you know, house music, etc., in South Africa is massive. It's like yeah. it's literally enormous. And we filmed a show called um, Kunye K U N Y E. Phenomenal. I mean, three and a half thousand people. I know it doesn't sound a lot. But um, absolutely insane, and just what a lineup with Shimza um, playing. And there was a guy that he actually just done a remix with um, Timber from South Africa of Sting's "Fragile." Oh wow, nice! Which is really, really interesting. I'm trying to remember how his name is. Let me just find this. Timber. Uh, track that. Timber did somebody do it? Somebody else did a uh, sort of mashup remix. Um, of that FNX track. Omar. In the past, FNX Omar from Morocco um, and Temba featuring Sion and Fragile. Go and check it out. And um, FX, um, FNX Omar actually performed at the show as well. Um, killer lineup was just an absolute party. 16 hour day for me, but yeah, really, really good. So it was great to it's great to see. We've now dropped masks, as you know, and everything yep. else. So yep. now we also have full capacity so we can party like rock stars as well in South Africa. And we're trying to, we're yes. trying our hardest. 
We're trying our absolute hardest to play like rock stars. Good. But anyway, that's I not why we get. take it easy as well is still the advice. Just be careful. Be careful yeah, out there, folks. Absolutely. It's not, it's not gone away yet. No, not gone away. Some, so kind of, take it, some take Delta it, variant it. or something. <laughs> I don't know. Delta <laughs> Schmelter Mandalay variant. Opt- but anyway, Optimus, we're not here to talk opt- about... Opt- opt- Optimus Prime. <laughs> Optimus Prime. We're not here to talk about Optimus Prime. We're here to talk about new music and great new artists and everything that we love about music. And that's what we this show is all about. New Music Mondays, discovering brand new music. And we're heading to Berlin. We haven't been to Berlin for a while. And the last time we actually went to Berlin was to chat to this exact same young man. Should we bring our guests on? Do it. Let's do it. Good, Good evening, gentlemen. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Hi, Hi. Good evening, Lucas. Hey, guys. How are How's you guys? Pretty good. Oh, we're good. We're amazing. Good, good, good. It's been Same a while. I think the last time we chatted to you was in Berlin. Um, you had just moved there. Exactly. Not that, yeah. that was like two years ago, I think. Is that and long? then Corona wow. came and everything, like the whole, this whole two years. Now we are recovering. I, I think this city, everybody is, is, is getting more active. Yeah, we all are, I think, around the world now, yeah. starting to recover and, and right. start playing gigs again, going to festivals, going to concerts. I, mean, I was talking to Martin last week. Glastonbury was the biggest attendance ever. Right. Oh, mad. Um, yeah, huge. Crazy. 220,000 people. People need it. We, we all need it. We need rock and roll back in our lives. Guys, yeah. thank you so much for joining us. I'm really excited because you, you guys have got a brand new single out. Right. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about it? We created an EP with Lucas actually last year because, uh, I mean, we were trying to get gigs and everything, but but you know how was the situation. And, yep. and then we decided to meet up uh, for a whole month and, and create four songs. And, and we actually, we meet up in two months and we create four songs. Um, and that was at the end of last year, I think, more or less. And then we decided that this year we need to just put everything out and then move on with more music and everything. And we start, we start producing together here with Lucas. I met him when I arrived in Berlin. We became very good friends and very musical friends too. And, and you know, uh, we create music together. He actually sing the song and we produce the whole entire thing together. Is the, out or is, is the collection of songs out or is it just a single so far to my time? Um, it's a single. Just a single. See, for now, I mean, there's is, there is more coming from these four songs that we did. The rest is okay. coming, you know. It's, we're That's leaving great, some for the, for the wave, no? <laughs> it's a great mixture between the two of you because, I mean, I've been a big fan of, of Salah since um, I saw you perform on, on um, sure, it was, what was it, Rooftop? It was in, uh, it was in, in Hanoi. In yeah, it Hanoi, was, That's it. that was like three years and a half ago or something like this phenomenal performance yeah, but i'm you. loving this collaboration that's happening between the two of you guys um there's definitely this wow I, i'm trying to find the right words <laughs> it's 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 just it's it's good it's, it's better than good I, I don't know what i don't know what the words are to use because obviously nah. if you if you know salas as a sound and then bringing yourself in lucas is and the, the two of you working together has, has created a kind of a very new energy that I haven't heard before from Salas I mean, um, in terms of a lot of the stuff that he's done before. I, I gotta say my first impression from, from Salas was also this performance in Hanoi in the rooftop, but I saw it on yes. Facebook uh, and that's yeah. how we got like acquainted. I was just like, okay, I'm curious about this dude. I yeah. went did a, a bit of a stalker uh, deep dive on, on his <laughs> on his work. And you know, I mean, same, nothing but admiration. And then like seeing, okay, this does not only extend to the music, but also to the person, you know, this is someone that I can imagine just sitting down and talking for hours and then making music for hours and this is how it happened. So yeah, very cool that it just worked out the way that it did, you know, and it still does, I would say. Yeah, awesome. I'm very happy too. Um, we create four songs. So basically we released this like three weeks ago or something. Yeah. And then we're going to release the, the next one at the end of this month or at the beginning of August and then the next one the next month. And we decided to do single by single because... I don't know, like we try to do research and, you know, maybe it's a sort of a gamble that you decide either to throw the whole thing immediately and maybe people will listen it or you do single by single and you put a lot of effort maybe in making people listen that one uh, at a time. And, and we decided to do one at a time, even though like we composed it as a... Yeah. I like that because it's giving us, it's leaving us wanting more as opposed to having it all uh, in one go. Now I've got to wait. 
Yeah. It's kind of like, you know, it's like that whole Netflix thing where do you give right. the, the guy the entire series at once or do you give them an episode at a time? Right. I kind of like the episode at, at a time because it gives you anticipation. Otherwise, you just land up binge watching or binge listening to the whole one uh, and then watch. Especially if we are, you know, upcoming like, uh, you know, newcomers. Uh, you know, yeah. uh, I've been with music around. I studied music long time ago. I know Lucas also been studying music and being involved with music a lot. But one thing is being involved with music and practicing music and studying a lot of music for a lot of years. And the other one is having experience of putting yourself out there and try to marketing your music, marketing yourself. And that's is where I consider myself a little bit inexpert, you know, and then I need mm. more experience. And the only way to get it, and we discuss this always with Lucas every time when we meet, the only thing to get it is, is you know, throwing things out and, you know, start, start losing the fear of that it's not perfect and, and, and those typical stuff that artists have, you know. And... Absolutely. Yeah. Well, should we take a listen? Yeah, Let's do it. that would be awesome. Thank Thank you. Too much time. Here we go. Thank you. I felt the loss of you empty seat because I loved you more than I loved before now There's so much space now vacant here In between Can someone, someone Please feel this void now Voices stay sing Sorry, oh I've seen it I lived it it. And now it's long ago Yo, I'm not gonna unmute people. I'm, I'm not kind of I'm still like yo. 
beautiful. Thank what you very that? much, guys. Thank you very much for for your thank you. It was great. It looked to me like Lucas was playing along there for a second. I thought I just yes, I, I didn't. I didn't realize that the camera was. I thought that it was just the yeah. graphics. So I figured I was gonna jam a little bit, but uh... <laughs> that's fantastic. Do you know what I mean? Wow. Like it's got this sort of pro production that just lives inside your head. Yes, just and like, inside just, your soul, it's all in here. So it's like I mean, with the headphones yeah. on, it's like oh, it's right, in no. my head. It's like just in, it's great. Sounds fantastic. Well, Absolutely I think that's cool. Guys. Love it. That's really cool. Love it. Salas Salas did quite a great job at like, you know, he was like the hands and the kind of like steering wheel from this whole operation, you know, and then kind of like concept wise, we both building it together until it became this, you know, mixing is just sublime also from from the meticulous brain of, of, of that guy to my left there with the mustache. <laughs> so yeah, quite proud, quite proud of this one, and also from the ones to come. We're very happy because it's just a whole different thing with the with the next release, which really reflects the way that uh, that this project came to be. You know, just kind of like mm -hmm. taking a weekend at a time and seeing what is it, what it is that we want, that we're thinking, that we're feeling, that we want to say, or that you know, music wants to tell us as well. So it was it was cool. It just felt it feels so natural, it just feels so real, and just so. I'm trying to find the right words. It just. Is it good yeah. again? No, no, it's, no, it's not good. <laughs> it's better than good, Martin. It's better than good. Better than good. Way better than good. It's just, oh, again, I'm, I'm lost for words. I really am. Because I good. love it. You I can absolutely put that it. on the advert. Lost for words. No, lost for words. There you have it. Absolutely lost for words. Guys, I um, absolutely love it. Um, how can people find out more information about both of you? Obviously, um, Lucas, you can also give us all your socials, etc. Yeah. See, absolutely. So, I mean, in Spotify, you know, that the song is called To My Time uh, by uh, Sara Sandoval and, uh, and Lucas Castillo. And my, my, my Instagram, for example, which is a place that I'm trying to populate, you know, like La Sara was saying, like in a little bit more of an artist kind of like mindset is uh, lucas.castillo.music, you know, keep it simple. Cool. Well, that's we'll what we'll it's about. Those. We'll share those handles as well. Thank Same you very much. Thank you. See you. See, exactly. I just copied Salas. <laughs> that's, no, that's, that's good. That's good. I mean, everybody. I copied probably somebody else also. Guys, we're dying to hear more music from you guys. We can't wait to hear more. Yeah, thank um, you. We're going to keep you updated. Please do. Thank you, guys. Please Fantastic. do. Okay. And hey, Salas, congratulations on the... Uh, on yes, your, congratulations, on your, baby. Your, your other creative... Yeah, thing. thank you. That's that's what <laughs> Corona had us. And then, and then that's what... It, it, changed, it changed lives, right? Especially as a musician, but... We are getting there. We are getting there. I know, Julian, you're a father too. I've yes, seen my your, son's 21. It's already really big here. Yeah. It's already big. You, Martin, have kids? No. No, not yet. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a new, it's a new stage, and and hopefully keep me very focused in 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 the in the little time that now I have. But you know, keep it. We'll enjoy like, it. Enjoy yeah. it. That change your life. Right. Absolutely, change your life. Thank Guys, you thank much. you so much for joining us. Well, thank, thank you very much. much for the thank you, Martin. Nice, nice Take care, guys. Just bye. Bye. Wow. Change Absolutely your life. Not, not off. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely love that. Great, great, great track. Just, yeah, it's, yeah. it's mesmerizing, I think, is the word I'm looking for. And it's brilliant. Like, just kind of come, well, you know, I like, I like what you do. I'd like to meet you. Let's make some music and just have a collaboration like that. It's fantastic. Nothing wrong with that, is there? That's what life's all about. Absolutely. Isn't it? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Very much so. Right. Um, I know that you, as our one guest, uh, short for time, Martin. Uh, Rashin did ask. Hello, Rashin. Hello, Rashin. <laughs> yeah, Rashin asked if she, if she would be able to get on fairly early. I don't know if that's because she's got an urgent deadline to meet or whether I just <laughs> didn't want to be hanging around. Are you okay? Are you You're okay? Because right? we'll, we'll bring you is on that, after Is that film. all good? I'll okay, bring you on good. after film. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> let's get, let's get right on People what we're doing. All our guests are on the bottom of the screen. We can see them. That's why. Yeah, we got, can like, see them. Mini, so we really mini artists on really. the bottom of the screen. It's fantastic. <laughs> all righty. Let's, 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 let's carry on. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the next guest. But go, yeah. good evening. Hey, Bill. Yeah, I'm gonna do that because then we can get you all in. Yeah, there we, we go. We need to be wide screen. Look at that. Wide screen. Getting wide screen. We need, we, need a tall screen. screen. we need a tall screen to get in the size of that beer can. I've never seen <laughs> yeah. that size in my life. 
Oh, that's a double. I don't even have. I've got a, I've got a power raid. Huh. <laughs> I didn't even have Heineken Zero tonight. <laughs> Good evening, guys. How are you doing? Good at you. Good, thank you. Very good, thanks. Good, good. Welcome, Phil. You guys are in London, is that correct? In the no, UK? We're, in, oh. we're in Portsmouth. Oh, Portsmouth. Portsmouth. Yeah, down on the south so, coast. I mean, as far, as far as Julian's concerned, that is London. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's London. <laughs> Anything north of Janusburg is London. Yeah. <laughs> it's close enough, as I say. Close yeah. enough. I was in uh, Portsmouth last summer at the Victorious Festival. Oh, were you? Yeah. I thought he was playing, so... Oh, fantastic. So was I. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, I didn't know that at the time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll playing again this year, so come and watch it again. Excellent, excellent. I'll try and make it back then. What, <laughs> what a great event. I, hadn't, I had no... It was one of those no idea of the scale of it things when I... Uh, sort of it's heading huge. down there and you arrive and you go oh it's it's bloody huge yeah it's massive it's massive, it's massive. Yeah. and getting bigger and bigger every year yeah it's stretched out right along the coast it's fantastic yeah, yeah it is good worth coming to Awesome. I'm just getting all my bits and pieces here. Phil, welcome. Um, we've been trying to get this together for a while now to get this to get you on to chat about this track. I've, you were scheduled for last week. I know that you had you had some issues. I think we did as well. But welcome. We're chatting about your brand new single, um, Moving On. Do you want to tell us yeah. a little bit about it before we move into playing the, the, the lyric for you? Yeah, well, look, Moving On was inspired by a conversation I overheard from a young lady. I think the song's actually kind of gender neutral, but this happened to be a young lady... I overheard discussing with her mates the fact that her boyfriend, a long-term boyfriend, had decided to leave her. He, he wasn't happy, he wasn't in love with her. He was being honest with himself and her by moving on. Uh, then she proceeded to say that the so-and-so, I won't repeat the words she used, but they were... Because they were I'm just going to wait mine on this show. <laughs> um, the so-and-so was then following her on Instagram and putting posts on her on a Facebook account and kind of following her, keeping her on the hook. Um, so he had moved on, but he didn't want her to move on. So that was what kind of inspired me to write it. Um, the rest is just imagination between us two. So, um, yeah. Awesome. Um, Being cozy, over overhearing people's conversations, that's what it's all about. Absolutely. Now... I'm still trying to, um, you, you're based in the UK, but Joe sent us the tracks based in South Africa, and you've had a, quite a lot yeah. of success in South Africa with this as well. Um, play, uh, playlisted and uh, featured in the top this, 10. Is it this Joe? That's the Joe. That Joe. That's I'm our Joe. Assuming, we love I'm our assuming Joe. Joe is not aware of what temperature it is in the UK. At the moment. So why are you wearing shorts? Joe, if you were here, you'd be wearing shorts. Yeah. <laughs> Joe's freezing in, in Joburg. So, sorry, Joe. It's, it's warm. We've got beards and we're in shorts. <laughs> Yeah, um, you've had a lot of radio success in South Africa on Mix FM and a lot of the playlists on Apple playlists, etc., and numerous radio stations in South Africa. So where's the South African connection? Well, I've lived and worked in South Africa for the last 14 years. I still spend half my year in South Africa. So I just happened, because I'm retired, to choose summer to summer. So, Oh, is, no, I want to do yeah. that. I keep telling Martin, that's what I want to do, summer to summer. <laughs> Likewise, bud. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm with it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Summer to summer. My big problem is that because I'm there for six months of the year, I don't get to spend enough time with him. So, you know, he's my writing partner. So so we, we have to cram everything into a few months when I'm back, which is half the reason why this EP is taking so long to come out. So along with the pandemic or two and a few other bits and pieces that have got in the way. The thing and then the other thing, as uh, as I've heard it referred to. When the thing yeah, happened yeah. and then the other thing happened, it kind of put us all back a bit, yeah. Okay, my son's pointing batteries at me, and I'm trying to figure out what my son is asking me. What are you asking me, Dylan? I like it's just like, like hey? hovering around just off screen. Where can you find those batteries? <laughs> Ask my family. Family, yeah, eh? There goes my son. There he is. There he is. You there, wait. there he is. There he is. There's Dylan. Yeah. He's waving right. now. There we go. There go. <laughs> I was like, what are you asking me? I had no clue. I was totally lost for a second there. I was like, totally batteries. Casual. He's looking for triple A batteries. Thanks. So how, how long has this writing partnership been going, guys? Um, well, between us, since about 2018, I guess, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, well, it's... Started... Yeah, well, it's... Oh, it? 
yeah, a fair few years ago. A fair few years ago. We um it started Phil does a lot of lyric writing and I do a lot of sort of melody and music writing. So um Phil would just send me lyrics and stuff when he was sort of more full time in South Africa. And we always we always would go on family holidays and speak about one day wanting to write country music. Um and then my dad's my actual dad, so Phil's brother, um, it was his fiftieth birthday, and Phil said that for his fiftieth birthday he wanted to do a sort of song for about about where they grew up. Uh-huh. Um, in a place in, in Portsmouth, but just off the island of Portsmouth. Um and sent me these lyrics and then I wrote some music and put a melody to it and sort of recorded it for my dad, gave it to him for his birthday. So that was like the first thing that we'd ever written, uh, wrote. And then um yeah, it sort of stemmed from there, really. We just, any time Phil came over, or if I was lucky enough to go to South Africa, we would sit down for a few evenings and just start writing some country songs and putting together bits based on what lyrics Phil had written already. And I would just sort of try and sing what I could come up with to them. And then it developed and developed, and Phil eventually retired and said, I actually really, I really want to do a country album. Uh, so let's do it. So we did a little bit of acoustic writing, just me and him. And then Phil was actually in South Africa at the time, clearing some bits up. And me and a few of uh, uh, a few other people that sort of we work with occasionally, uh, we went into the studio and pretty much re- recorded a whole album for Phil to come home and just sing to. So it, yeah, it was like it, it was quite a crazy experience to start with, and then as it's it's gone on it's it's just yes yeah, it's, it's become more and more of a project really right. mm. cool i was thinking right. it's, initially i was thinking it sounded like a sort of elton john bernie toppin or, uh, arrangement but it sounds it's a bit more like a sort of johnny marr morrissey arrangement <laughs> 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 i'll write the lyrics yeah. and sing them it's and sing them, them yeah. i do occasionally yeah. write melodies. it's just that <laughs> i have a lot more spare time on my hands so writing lyrics was uh was you know, the way for me to, to do it. I mean, I I was away from music for a long, long time. So I, I released an album back in the eighties and just before he was born. So, you know, so uh, yeah. It, in fact, he he actually liked the original album from the eighties um, and played it. Everybody to his loves mate. the eighties. Come on. Yeah, what's not? <laughs> we all love the eighties. So. If he released it now, it would be very, very popular. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, well, why release not release it now then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You never know. You never, never know. know. Okay, guys, let's check it out. Here is Moving On off the brand new album. Um, the album is called, where? where is it? No, I, can't find it. I can't find the album title. Album title? 22 Not Out. That's it. There we go. 22 Not Out. There we go. I found it again. <laughs> 22 Not Out. This is for Gregory. That's not what you think. Seems you started following And I really don't know why You're the one who couldn't stand it And would never live a lie Oh, you told me till my ears bled Till the tears run like a stream You may be something special But you sure ain't what you seem You can't break my heart if it's broken Take things away when there's nothing to take You can't leave me twice if you've left me before And you can't hurt me more than you've hurt me Than you hurt me before You can't have your cake when you've had it And it's eating me up that you do There's gotta be rules in a breakup Then why don't they mean that much to you? Well, you got me in your handcuffs And dancing to your tunes You really just can't read me So I'm moving on real soon Can't break my heart
Or take things away when there's nothing to take You can't leave me twice if you've left me before And you can't hurt me more than you've hurt me Than you had me before you can't break my heart Moving on. 22 not out. There's not enough na na na's in songs these days. Not enough. Bring not back enough. The na na na's. <laughs> we need I was more. Saying, I was just saying to Billy, we're trying to get on the, on the lyric video, trying to get the na na na's coming out of the case. We didn't want to work. <laughs> very good. I love the track. Uh, you know, there's such a revival in country music in general around the world, and I mean, I, I love it. I mean, we've had, I mean, we actually were chatting at one point about doing actually a Discover TV country show, yeah. just because the amount of artists that are hitting us up that are playing country, whether it be Americana country or whatever style, but there's especially yeah. out of the UK. I mean, um, what's his name again? I'm trying to remember now. He had that song. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, but actually... I like watch. I like watching yourself sometimes. Chris Sims. <laughs> Chris Sims. What was the song called again? I don't know. UK, UK country. UK country. Yeah. yeah. There you go. At least I remember that. I know that was good. Song yeah, actually he had called a whole, UK country. A, a whole EP called UK country. Yeah. yeah. Last, last, yeah. And a yeah, great, just a great selection of country artists. artists around. They really are. And it, I mean, it's real crossover stuff. It's you know, it's not, I don't think it's traditional pure country anymore. You know, it's a real crossover between pop and rock. I mean, Luke Coombs is bordering, you know, he's either very traditional country music or he's, you know, he's playing, you know, real rock, rock music. And, uh, and it's just fantastic. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's, there, there's some great, some absolutely brilliant artists around the country music scene yep. at the moment. Really are. There are. And then there's the old timers who are just fantastic anyway. People like George Strait are just out of this world. So, uh, you know, uh, and dear old, um, I'm trying to think of what's that? Um, we used to listen to it home, me and dad. Um, I'll think in a second. <laughs> Jim, Jim Reeves, of all people, there you go. That's it, that's the difference in our ages. Jim Reeves, my mum and dad used to listen Jim to Jim Reeves. Jim Reeves, good lord, in South Africa, believe it or not, before he yeah, was yeah. Uh, ever wow. a success in, in, in the States, but um, yeah, 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 so really old fashioned country music versus. Yes. You know the likes of Luke Coombs and and others. Eric oh, Church. Jim Reeves, Jim Reeves. That was my that was my mum's favourite. <laughs> there you go. I'm just showing my age. Oh, that is going back a bit. Yeah. There's great TV well, shows I, as well. I, I ain't no really... spring chicken, Phil. I'll tell you. <laughs> no, I'm, not. I'm 66 years old, so I'm doing all right. Getting nothing wrong. We're getting some music here. Yeah, it's great to see also TV shows reinvigorating the country scene as well. Um, TV shows like Yellowstone, where which yeah. obviously has a massive cornerstone of country music in the soundtrack to everything i mean the guy who actually directed the show is a country music uh, musician as well so it's yeah. great to see that happening as well where you, you see like a, a show like stranger things bringing the 80s back and an artist like kate bush making such a huge inroads into the modern pop era again yeah. with a song that's 40 years old i mean you know yeah. it, it's great i, I love I the first song around of course but anyway <laughs> we'll, we'll keep going there yep that that so Full, great stuff, and um, we can't. The album is due when, or is it out already? That was out. Uh, the EP was out on twenty fourth of June. So, of June. Um, oh, there we go. I got it right there. Yeah. That's right. So cool. yeah, and uh, yeah, there's a fair bit of uptake. People are paying attention to it and listening to it, which is great. If people get some enjoyment from it, then absolutely fantastic. Hey, Brilliant keep stuff. doing it. We love it. Keep it going, and I'm sure we'll be airing on the radio stations throughout South Africa over the coming months as well, on likes of Mix FM, etc. And guys, go and check out Full Gregory on all social medias as well. Go and hit, hit up the video on YouTube. You can check it out on all our playlists on Discover TV. Um, and yeah, Full, thank you so much for joining us. Fantastic. Stick around. We've got another great Americana well, artist coming along for us to get together. Oh, we've got some more Americana coming up after this. Yeah, just Alrighty. Right. Thanks, Full. We'll see, see you soon. Okay. Okay. Cheers, mate. Bye. Bye. Nice.
nice, nice, nice. I like it. Yeah. I love country music. I really do. And and I, talking about like Yellowstone, it's, it really has got me into country music in a big, big way in terms of just listening and just appreciating country music, which I may not have before. You know, so um, I don't know if you've watched Yellowstone. No. Phenomenal TV show with um, Kevin Costner. Go and check okay. it out. Really, wow. really good. Very good. But we always have this conversation. You haven't even watched Stranger Things yet, Martin. Well, I was going to say, if it's on Netflix, I've not seen it. That's, that's basically what it comes down to. It's on I, Paramount. I, I have not got Netflix. So, so it's I'm Paramount. Paramount. It's, all these, it's all these streaming platforms now. You've got Amazon, you've got I, Disney I Plus, know, you've got Paramount, you've got Netflix. All it's like ones. there are just tons of them. Have you seen Nashville? Did you see any of Yes, that? I did watch that season was one. absolutely bonkers. Yeah, it was nuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, but do you, you, you think that was bonkers? <laughs> Watch Yellowstone. <laughs> the thing I always thought about Nashville was it felt like a show. It felt like a TV series that they thought they were only going to get one series of. Yeah. <laughs> it was like they crammed in so much story into the first 23 episodes. And they went, oh, actually, people like this. What do we do now? <laughs> no. It's kind of similar to what they did with Yellowstone. So Yellowstone, they finished well, Yellowstone. Now what are we going to do? Yeah. We'll just do 1873. So we're going to go back in time and where it all started. And now they're doing like another spinoff of Yellowstone as well. It's like, jeepers. Guys know how to milk it. Oh yeah, know how to milk it. Ranch, it's a ranch. Oh yeah, show. sorry, yeah, I wasn't with you. <laughs> <laughs> very, very on brand. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> let's get another guest done. <laughs> Here we go. Wow, that was a good noise. What happened there? <laughs> I don't know. That was excellent. <laughs> It sounded like our uh, intro stab turned into a car crash halfway through. <laughs> Hello, Rasheen. Good hey, evening, Rasheen. Splendid. Very well. All the better for seeing you, of course. Yeah. You're a little quiet. I don't know why we're, we're missing. We're missing you. We're missing some volume from you. What can we do about that, Jules? She's frozen. Oh, gone. Damn, it's been waiting there the whole time and now just gone, frozen. Oh well. You okay. there? Hopefully back Hello? in a sec. Hopefully back in a second. Okay, let's just give her a chance. I'm going to just remove. Um, Rashin, if you are listening, go out of the studio and come back in. I think that might be the easiest thing to do. But we've definitely lost you. Yeah. Okay, let me remove her there for a second. Um, see if she goes out. I'm just going to kick her from the studio. That's not being offensive. <laughs> it's the only, <laughs> it's the only thing they have yet. Oh, wait, is she again. back? Are you back? No. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay, she's gone. Okay, give her a second. I'm sure okay. she'll be back now. Hopefully, hopefully, come back. Well, as I said, a, fan, a fantastic. In fact, the, the 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 Nashville connection was deliberate. There you because go. Rasheen is a Nashville artist. Well, there you have it. Yeah. There you have it. So we'll uh, hopefully hopefully we'll get a chance to ask her about that in a, in a minute or two. In a minute or two. Uh, yes, because we because been so busy. We've been trying to get Rasheen on for a while. This a uh, single that she's got out the minute it came out um, about two or three weeks ago, I think. And is, you uh, said she's actually got a new single dropping a new shortly single coming as well. Out next week, which is the third one from an EP um, that's uh-huh. coming up. But hopefully, she'll be able to tell Let's us all about it. Here we go. Come on. Are you there? Sure. <laughs> hey, welcome back. I'm back. Hey. Ah, there we go. I've been sat on here backstage. It's been fine. Moment I, I know. Come live. It's called guys. Murphy. It's, it's called Murphy. Murphy's Law. <laughs> <laughs> he always does that to us yeah well thank you for joining us it's a pleasure to have you here no thank you for having me it's nice to come back and chat to you it's been a while it has been a while it was when uh, us was out i think was when the last time we yeah was, which must be early part of last year i think so you know what i was out in 2020 but i'm pretty sure i spoke to you at the beginning of last year yeah. so it's been a while that's what I remember. And what, and what uh, I, I have to sort of say, and what a year you've had since then. Yeah, it's been really exciting. Um, I've been doing a lot of writing, recording, traveling for music, meeting lots of new people. Um, it's been really, really good, really eye-opening, really, really good start to a new part of my journey, I suppose. Fantastic. So, yeah, tell us what's been, because the thing that I know is that you've been in Nashville at least once, I think. <laughs> How many times have you been there? I was there once, so I just keep once. using the photos. Oh, good. Yeah, um, yeah we're quite, quite right, too. Yeah, so I was there <laughs> quite a lot in April. I was in Nashville and Arizona in April um, yeah. and had a really busy, jam-packed 
Pat's time in Nashville writing in studios, recording in studios. I recorded in Blackbird Studios, which is one of the legendary studios there. Um, wrote with lots of writers there, including Music Row, which was really cool. And that song in particular is going to actually be coming out soon as well, which is really nice. And yeah, I've been recording a lot of my stuff sort of remotely for the last eight, nine months. And with yeah. guys in the who are real like top session players there and incredible what they do. And I hadn't met them up until kind of like the third single along in my new journey, which is what's coming out at the end of this week. Um, and I got to spend time with them in April there and be there in the actual studio for them tracking. And it was really magical. Yeah, it must be fa fantastic. How did it all come about? Because it's if it, this is like you said, it's part of a, a well, what do we call it? A new chapter? A new, what, what's what's yeah, that? It's like a, so. what's going on? Yeah, so, um, last July I played at a festival called Tendy Fields in Essex, where I live, um, and it's a it's one of the country Americana festivals in the UK. And I was playing um, solo on a little acoustic stage there, and I met who's now my manager, and we've kind of been working together ever since then. And it's literally hit a year ago the other day, I think. Um, but we've just been recording, writing, traveling since then, and really trying to push my stuff. And he's really gotten behind my music and introduced me to a lot of people, and we're releasing a lot more frequently. So it's been really, really good. And um, I was actually meant to come back to that festival this weekend coming and play the main oh. stage with the band. Unfortunately, it's been cancelled, which is really, really sad. But, you know, it would have been a really uh, nice moment. Rats. I'm looking at your, uh, I'm, I'm glancing over at the press release stuff here. Is, it, this is, is this Neil Handforth? Is that the manager that you're referring to? That's the man. Yeah. Jules, previous clients include, hold, hold on, hold on to your hat. <laughs> Put a hat on and then hold on to it. <laughs> you're gone. <laughs> previous clients include Janet Jackson and NXS. Yeah, so um, he was so, um, Jack Jackson's um, keys player on tour for years and years and still doing bits of work for her now. And yeah, just worked with some really cool artists. Nice yeah, that's, stuff. That's, that's pretty, that's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, it's pretty good. Nothing wrong with that. That's in the, that's, I think we're, we're, we're mixing in different circles now, Rasheen. That's fantastic. <laughs> well done. Uh, brilliant stuff. Um, yeah, really the thing I, I, I guess the other bit I wanted to ask you is because the thing that you mentioned of obviously spending time writing in, in Nashville, spending time recording in Nashville, the other bit that's of great interest to me is the other part of the world that you've been visiting fairly frequently as well, because I want to know why, <laughs> not, not, not that you should, but where, tell us where you, where else have you been recording? Yeah. So I've been spending a lot of time in Scotland recording as well. Not just um, Scotland. So other than Essex. Um, so Scotland, because uh, my manager uses a studio there and has done for a long time called Chamber Studios. Um, and it's a really cool studio. It's owned by a guy called Graham Young, who's an awesome vocal engineer. He's been engineering all my vocals. Um, and yeah, I've been up and down there recording a lot. I've got a lot of stuff that's recorded and semi-recorded at the moment that I keep going backwards and forwards to there for. Yeah. Just so basically... I have a lot <laughs> I'm going to be releasing soon. Let's put it like that. Fantastic. Not just Scotland, by the way, Jules. Not just Scotland. I know. Wait. Edin Edinburgh. <laughs> Edinburgh. Where's that? Well, my that's where I'm place. from. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's, cool. yeah, that's, that's, my, that's my hometown. I'm just ragging you, man. So, so, no, I love so, it. So I'm very, I'm very excited. I just see any, any time I see the word Edinburgh, I'm like, oh, look, Edinburgh. <laughs> Recording stuff. <Home. laughs> <laughs> Who knew? Do, have any other names worked in that studio? Because that's not one I'm massively familiar. Who's who's? Who, what's the history of that studio? You know what? There's a lot, and I'm going to blank on every single one of them now. I know Annie Lennox play, um, records there quite a lot. Amy McDonald play, um, recorded her most recent album there with Graham. Um, who else? I know that he was talking about when um, that's still were there at some point recently. Um, yeah, really cool studio. Really great. Um, Look it up, Nothing wrong with that lineup. That, 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 that's fine, just there. There's a casual name. I can't <laughs> think of any names apart from Annie Lennox. <laughs> like, you could have stopped there, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> but Amy, Amy yeah, McDonald cool. as well, fantastic. Uh, Scott, yeah, Bastille's cool. Scottish artist as well. And Bastille, of course. That's fantastic. Uh, so these are uh, exciting times. Yeah, really cool. And it's really good for me to get to just record loads. And a lot of the stuff I've been recording recently as well is actually older stuff that I never really had a chance to use. So I was in the studio there um a couple of weeks a few weeks ago now 
um, and basically spent a bunch of time recording acoustic tracks of songs I'd written sort of like two to five years ago, some of them. Um, And just never thought I'd get a chance to do anything with and hopefully I am now. Brilliant. Love it. Amazing. Should we take a listen? Like, Should and, we watch? And like right, right at the forefront, as we said, about the sort of uh, UK Americana scene as well. What a place to be. Fantastic. Yeah. Let's have a listen. So we're going to play... Uh, no, you've got a new track coming out next week, but we're going to play I've the one that's out. I've got a snippet of it. Do, you, do we want to see the snippet first? Or do which, we play which, which way around should we do it? I don't mind. Should we do snippet first? <laughs> Let's okay. do snippet. Let's check it out. Here we go. All this time is nothing like they said it would be So we can call See, how good does that sound? I mean, that's not enough. We want more, no, obviously. Enough. We want more of that Any song. Yeah, it's <laughs> um, most sort of like upbeat, rocky, fun time song so far out of this new lot of songs. So, yeah, I'm really happy that I get to release this one like in the middle of them all and I hope people really like it. Fantastic. Go and pre-order it now. You saw, you saw it on the screen. Go pre-save and pre-order. Go and pre-save. In the meantime, let's check out Sunset Valley. Here we go. Well, Joe's in my headlights And I'm thinking to myself right now just how goddamn easy it would be to run this kid right to the ground I know it's been a while now 20 something in your vintage jeans and I knew you'd leave me should have ran but I didn't know how but I believe in you sincerely because you taught me Never leave in Sunset Valley But darling, we both know You'll start a fight in the middle of the night And you'll lose your way And you might just drive till you find some place So much brighter than Sunset Valley And I know it hurts right now But you'll fade away in a dust cloud Ace till you find yourself in your glory days But you'll lie The best things are gonna take time Well, Joe is on my mind now Wanna hate him, but no damn well That it's five years and counting Since I was buried in his arms Screaming, put me down now Or you'll go straight to hell And you're running out of nearly maybes And never But darling, we both know Oh, do you start a fight in the middle of the night And you lose your way And you might just drive till you find some place So much brighter than Sunset Valley And I know it hurts right now But you'll fade away in a dust cloud Hey, till you find someone And you might just stay But your life could have been so much better in Sunset Sunset Valley, Roisin O'Hagan. Love it. 
Like good story, Elaine. Like that as well. Good story. Thank you very much. Good story. Yeah. What, a, what, a way, what a way to spend a time. Hang on, hang on. She's muted. My bad. No. Sorry. It's like talking. <laughs> Yeah, it was really fun to get story or something. Not so much fun when I realised I have to act that story out by myself, but I gave it a good shot. It was good. Nothing wrong. Absolutely That's nothing wrong. Not too bad. You get, to, you get to hang out at a restaurant, drink wine, sign a record contract, be in a studio and go in a record shop. This is you like... know what? There's worse things. I was going to say, that sounds like a good weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. So the new single is coming out next. No, it's coming out this Friday. 15th. It's yes. Friday fifteenth, and this is track three from a forthcoming EP. Are there are there more details of the EP? Is the EP kind of under under wraps at the moment, or do we know more about the EP? So I haven't announced like the EP name or release date or anything yet. Um, I will do very soon, um, but it is part of an EP that will be out later this year, like probably autumn sort of time. Um, and it's a collection of songs that I'm just really proud of. Put everything into they all kind of tie together, and yeah, I'm looking forward to sharing all the details for everything. Fantastic! And you said this weekend would have been a live show, but not happening. What what else is happening though? Can people catch up with you in person somewhere soon? So um, next weekend was meant to be the festival, um, and I was basing everything around that. So I'm working at the moment on getting some other live shows. I really want to put together some band shows still because that was going to be my first band show. Mm. So working on that and I'm hoping to get to share some dates really soon. Cool. So if people want awesome. to know when those dates are announced and when the EP comes out, where's the best place to follow you, Roshin? Where, where do you hang out? I hang out most on Instagram and Facebook, um, also on Twitter. So under Roshin O'Hagan on Twitter and Instagram, I'm Rosie underscore Roshin just to make it bit more difficult like you know i've got an awkward enough name so why not make it more awkward <laughs> but yeah i post a lot on there um i'm always off well so I'm, I'm on tiktok a little bit but yeah twitter facebook instagram all, all, the, all the usual awesome. places that's the main, that's the the main thing cool all right awesome. fantastic love it great to finally cool. catch up with you i know it's been a little bit more only because you've been busy I know we've kind of said, should we do it this week? Can't do it this week. Should we do it, yeah. Can't do it next week? Been a bit like that, but no wonder. Look at all the look at all the stuff you've been up to. So no wonder. Uh, brilliant stuff. Congratulations to you. It's brilliant to see you on the on the up and climbing and keep it up because uh, love the music. It's great to catch up with you. you keep it just quickly, one more time, just one more time, so everybody remembers. Coming out this Friday, fifteen. Pre-order now. Wild and free. Out by fifteen. There you go. We had to throw that in one more time. Yeah. That looks like that video was shot outdoors. In Arizona. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, just, just Arizona. Yeah, whatever. Because yeah. <laughs> Nashville wasn't enough. Got to go, wasn't you know, I'm already there. I may as well go somewhere else. I know. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks thank thank you for so joining for us joining on us. New Music Mondays. Great to chat to you. Chat soon. Take care, Roshan. Cheers. Bye. bye. How you doing? Oh, where's our overlay? Why is our overlay not showing? There it is. Ah, there you go. Julian and Martin. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go that way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's go that way. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like it's the ant and, the ant and deck thing. It's the wrong way around. It's confusing. Ah, sorry. You know I'm Martin. Deck? You know who Ant and Deck are? I do. Okay. Yes, very much they, so. They always appear on stage that way around. It's always Ant and Deck. Always Ant and Deck. And now it's Julian and Martin, or hey, Martin no and problem. Julian. Hey, no. You can be any way around. You can be anywhere Change it around a bit. Change it around ah. a bit. Change it around a bit. Salas so likes wild and free. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Well, I like it as well. It's all sounding good. Well, great. As, as always, great music on the show. Thanks to Salas and Lucas yes. and Phil. Phil. And Phil. To everybody else. For joining us on the show. Well, that's amazing, the show, Martin. It's amazing done. Amazing stuff. Done. And who knew? See, there you go. It's like South Africa, UK. What's the most popular music that, co that covers both countries? It's country music. Country music right now. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> it's, a it's, a it's a global phenomenon. I haven't seen Mother on tonight. Where is she? 
don't know. Probably load shedding. Oh, we are ha- load shedding has taken over South Africa again. Oh, like, God. like you cannot believe. We headed to stage six last week, and it's like, oh, it's just chaos. But anyway, enough of that. It's been a great show, Martin. Always great hanging out with you. Indeed. I look forward to next week. Can't wait. Why is it next week? 18th of July already. Good Lord. Okay. I know. <laughs> Chat later. Good night, everybody. Who Please knows? follow we us may... on all social medias and like and subscribe. Subscribe yeah. to our channel. Put on no- notifications, a little bell when you want to hear when our shows are on. Um, this is New Music Mondays on Discover TV. Go to discover.tv. If you're an artist, go to discover.tv and hit the submission button if you'd like to appear on any of our shows. I actually have seen a whole lot come through. We need to get on top of those. People wanting to be on the show. I must actually cool. add you to that info at Discover button so you know what's going yeah. on. And follow us on uh, the social media things. Find us yep. on social media things and send us Everywhere. messages. Everywhere. It's you know, Discover yeah. TV without the E. See you next week. Good night, everybody. Bye. There's no Bye. E